The next pattern in the Making Method Calls Simpler series is called Preserve Whole Object. A lot of times when we're writing code or supporting legacy code, we'll see that we make a method call here that expects a couple of primitive values, maybe integers or strings or anything like that. And we're pulling those values from an object. And so the motivation here is that when we're getting several values from an object and passing these values as parameters in a method call, we should just send the whole object itself. So what we'll do here is we'll start by using the add parameter pattern and send a range here. We'll call it given range. And of course we have to supply that parameter. Now we could run our tests at this point because that was technically a breaking change, but we haven't really logically changed anything yet. We'll do that now by using this new parameter. Say given range dot low and given range dot high. This will be the opportune time to run all of our tests. And then we'll switch over to the remove parameter pattern. Get rid of those parameters we're not using. And get rid of them here as well. Which then of course means we don't need these temporary values anymore. Essentially, that's the pattern in a nutshell. But what we're noticing here is the, the real benefit of using this pattern is that by using whole objects, it kind of leads us to realize that we can usefully move behavior into the object that we're passing around. I believe it was Eric Raymond who once said that smart data structures and dumb code works a lot better than the other way around. So what we're realizing here is that we have this calculation that, yeah, this is technically some sort of business logic on this heating plan, but all it's doing is calculating whether or not one range is inside of another range. We can put that on the range object itself. So let's say is within range. We can use this whole thing, actually. And just get rid of these. And so now here, all we have to say is return whether the temperature range is within, well, you know I don't like the, the naming of that. How about instead of is within range, let's just call this includes. Let me name that method. So now whether the temperature range includes the given range. So we're doing a lot of delegation here, but essentially the actual calculation is where it belongs, right on the range object itself. The business logic doesn't really care about the calculation, it just cares about whether the given range is included in the known temperature range. And then of course in the room object, we delegate this to the heating plan object anytime we need to uh, determine that while we're monitoring the temperature in the room. And that's it for the preserve whole object pattern. Thanks for watching.